So recently a user that follows the CBC sent me a very long email asking a bunch of questions and also kind of doing that thing where you answer a question with a question. Um, and I thought there was a lot of stuff. He sent me probably like a page and a half worth that I read and it really got me thinking and I really wanted to reply to it. And then I figured, you know what? I can reply to it in video form and this is gonna have to kind of be spread out among a few videos to really try to describe to you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, so the first, I guess, question I'm going to answer is why am I so confident that Fox can only sell to Disney? And let's get into that. So first and foremost, Fox can sell to anybody, almost anybody, right? They can definitely do that, but they cannot sell every single asset they own. That is something they cannot do because in that instant, it would create a conflict of interest. So first, let me bring up every major studio in Hollywood that could potentially buy them. So when you look at this image, let's talk about the first one. So we'll start at the top and we'll go all the way down. So you're looking at Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers cannot buy all of Fox. This is not going to happen. The main reason, Warner Brothers already owns DC Comics. DC Comics is a rival brand to Marvel. The big fear would be Warner Brothers gets a hold of something like the X-Men and they don't want to start putting out movies that their competition puts out on printed form. They have no incentive and they would damage the brand. So the fear would be there. They would also have an actual monopoly on comic book characters, owning all the DC characters and owning a major brand of Marvel, which includes Deadpool, which includes the X-Men, and which includes, of course, the Fantastic Four. Not only that, they would control the TV rights of all of these characters as well. This would in fact be a major monopoly because they are gathering someone else's properties. When people say Disney would have a monopoly, they're not understanding. These characters are already Marvel characters. It's not a monopoly to own your own characters. So Warner Brothers is out of the question for buying Fox. They could buy everything like Avatar, Alien, all those properties. They could never realistically gain any of the comic book characters. Therefore, those would have to go somewhere else. They're going to Disney. So next up on the list is Fox. Clearly, we're not going to talk about Fox buying Fox, but after that, we have Paramount. So Paramount is in an interesting position. They're not one of the big companies. They definitely don't have as much money as some of the other ones. When you look at their biggest franchises, it's barely enough to get them by. Star Trek movies have been on a constant decline when it comes to box office revenue. The Cloverfield series definitely isn't lighting the box office on fire. You're looking at the Triple X, maybe is that a franchise? I'm not sure. Transformers, arguably being their biggest actual franchise, well, that's been on a somewhat of a decline and that's definitely not going anywhere. And most recently, their big bomb was of course Terminator and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So they're definitely not in any position to be able to buy someone as big as Fox. MGM is struggling and have been struggling for a decade, so they are definitely out of the question. Disney we'll talk about in just a minute. Universal is probably the only one that could realistically offer some sort of comparable offer to Fox that is as big as Disney's and legitimately pose an actual bidding war. And they have quite a few big franchises under their belt. Uh, Pokemon, Detective Pikachu is coming, that's going to be big because it's Pokemon. The Fast and the Furious series is huge. Minions is of course a giant. How to Train Your Dragon, absolutely enormous. A reboot of Halloween, but most recently they have of course seen a few misses such as, you know, The Mummy and The Purge, which doesn't necessarily make a lot of money, but it makes just enough to get another one. And of course they have a few big other franchises like Jurassic World, which is absolutely huge, and of course they're hoping Pacific Rim Uprising is going to send that through the stratosphere. So they could realistically be the only one that actually poses a threat towards winning this bidding war. So now we get back to Disney. So realistically, Fox could sell its entire catalog to Disney, or they could spread it up into different sections and sell it off. So like I said, 
Warner Brothers cannot realistically buy at all. So if WB buys all Fox, that leaves the X-Men and the Fantastic Four as leftovers to be sold to someone else. Who do you think they're realistically going to sell it to? Are they going to sell that to Universal or Sony or Paramount or MGM? Or are they going to sell it to Disney to try to guarantee some good blood and some of those people's jobs? You probably figured out which one they're going to do. And as many reports have stated and people and analysts looking at these, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Disney is the biggest brand in the world with the most capital to be able to do this. Not only that, when you look at this and look at how these companies are working and what Fox needs and why Fox is looking to sell, it's because they cannot realistically compete with the likes of Disney and all of these other bigger studios that have an infrastructure and enough properties to be able to build their own streaming services. Warner Brothers can do that. They have a giant history. Universal can do that because they own like sci-fi. They're part of Comcast. Fox is Fox. And they don't have that luxury and they don't have that infrastructure and they're not in a place where they can compete. CBS, sure, they have a streaming service, but look who they're um, partnered with and look who they work under. And I should just tell you exactly why Disney is going to regain or possibly buy all of Fox 